Of all the cheeses in the world, I have to say that Brie or Cam is definitely my favorite. I like the earthy creaminess of the cheese. And today I have paired it with some chicken and a rich tomato sauce. And you will have a one pan wonder that will make your family salivate, I promise you. In a pan, you add your chopped bacon, and that is the flavor of your dish. And with the bacon, I'll add some paprika, and a little bit of meat. As soon as the bacon starts getting a little bit of color, then I'll add my onions. And turn the heat down so that your onions will sweat and soften up a little bit. Right, the onions and bacon can saute for about two to three minutes until you're happy that the onion is soft and it's reduced all its flavor. If you want to, you can add a little bit of wax paper right over the top of this and it will sweat the onions down. After about two to three minutes, when you see your onions nice and soft, you can add your chopped tomatoes. And also about 80 grams of tomato paste. At this stage, season your dish and always a little bit of sugar when you work with tomato just to cut through the acidity of the sugar. At this point you can add a little bit of white wine or a little bit of water if it needs it, but it's totally optional. I'm going to put the plate now on its slower setting and the tomato can um, cook away and reduce nicely. Right, we have to stuff our chicken breast now with a delicious brie. And Fairview makes a beautiful, delicious, ripe and ready brie and their camembert, but I am choosing the brie today. So all you do is cut as many pieces as you need. In this case, we have two chicken breasts, so I cut two pieces. And then you take your chicken breast and on the fat side of the chicken breast, you simply just cut a pocket into the chicken without cutting through it. Lightly season your chicken and then put your strip of brie in there and fold over the chicken. There we have it. Number one is done. If you can, you can add a few chili flakes here. These chicken breasts are now ready to go into the tomato stew that's bubbling away on the stove. As you can see, your tomato is now reduced nicely. It's All the acidity is gone. And now you simply take your chicken breast and we lay it in this delicious, fragrant tomato stew. This pan goes to the oven at about 180 degrees. While the chicken is cooking, the cheese will melt and the creaminess will go into your tomato sauce. You can simply top it off with fresh herbs and serve it on fluffy rice or even mashed potatoes. What can be better on a winter's night Creamy chicken, spicy rice, boozing cheese, and I will simply serve it with a few pitted olives. Perfect for this time of the year when everyone wants a hug in a bowl. See you in my kitchen, same time, same place next week.